I've got a microphone, got a thrift store. You know what that means. That's right, we're mic'd up at the thrift store, baby. I know what you are. The girlies who get it, get it. You comfy in there? Oh. Sally. So let's see who we can find. Last. You're really twanging on my last nerve. Last week we were talking about outfit recipes and I've just had them stuck in my craw. So today we're looking for, you guessed it, little shirt, big pants, specifically little shirt. Cause I think I have enough big pants to clothe a well-dressed army, but little shirt I'm lacking. What are you? Oh, my skirt just popped open. You're never gonna guess what's inside this box. Music. That's enough. You may be thinking, Kathleen, did you really bring your emotional support ruler to the thrift store with you? Yeah. You know why? Because there are teens here and I need all the support I can get. I'm very scared. They're gonna know I'm not one of them and my pants are falling down. This is literally my worst nightmare. This is starting off just great. Ooh, spyro sheets. You guys remember that frog that um, showed you his bare whole butt in the original Spyro game? This is nice. No? Ooh. You're welcome. Okay, first order of business. I need to find a belt <laughs> to borrow. I secured a belt. I'm gonna look so dumb. What will the teens think? Okay, we're updating my search. I don't just want shirts. I would also take a skirt or dress. Just summer appropriate items. I'm sick of being hot. I like you. Pick a letter, any letter. M, good choice. That's gonna be Leanne Mitchum. That's a real person. Why do I want this? Collision. Who is she? Have you ever seen something so beautiful? Where are you? Whoa, I just got lost. Who, me? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Not only are the teens here, but the fashion girlies are here too. Uh, don't look at me. An unexpected swivel. I don't think it's supposed to swivel. It is making a bad noise. Um, proximity to snacks, extra points. I'll give this a uh, six out of 10. Having fun isn't hard. You've got um, some books to look at. Yeah, that's how that goes. Just this was popping out and I definitely thought and hoped it said Dogbird's Manga. Shy. Okay, let's do what we came here for. Tiny tops. Ooh, ooh. No, no more big button ups. We need tiny tops, tiny tops. Think tiny, think really little. Itsy bitsy, teeny weeny, so little. No. Are you threatening me? Tiny tops. Every now and then I get so tiny you can barely even see me. I'm so itty bitty, tiny tops. Did find one top. It's not very tiny, but it does button up. And I was thinking maybe we could do like a little high necked crappie moment and put a little elastic around the waist. Ooh. That scare you? Popcorn shirt, but make it fashion? Also interesting. And high waisted vintage shorts that may or may not fit. Let's check. Um, excuse you. Turn around, please. Let me help. Come on, Bill Blast, don't let me down. Oh, Bill, you let me down. Check this out. They're cute. It'd be cool if it had a button though. Hmm. Ooh, is that a pee stain? How could you do this to me, Bill? Have you been there the whole time? Ooh. An enthusiastic bounce. Seven out of 10? Tiny tops more like tiny flops. Am I right? But sometimes you gotta outsmart the enemy. Sometimes you gotta think outside the box. And what's tinier a top than a brazier? And you know, sometimes it feels like the thrift gods maybe don't love me very much. Maybe I'm not their chosen acolyte, their chosen holy icon made flesh on this earth. But then I think maybe it's a test. <gasps> Tiny top. Oh, sexual. Oh. I think it's time to unleash my final weapon, the dresses. Don't judge me, okay? 
Sometimes you need a quick win. Sometimes you need to make an easy buck. And that's where the dresses come in, see? So cute. Wait, I just remembered. <laughs> Isn't this exactly what happened in the last mic'd up at the thrift store video? I was looking for summer tiny tops, got skunked, and then went to the dresses. Now we all know how that turned out. That's also when you found out some Kathleen lore about my past fanfiction proclivities. And somehow my subscriber number just kept going up. No, no, no. Ooh. Silk. What's that? You're wondering where I got this seamless base layer that's perfect for thrifting because you can easily throw things on top of it and it goes with everything when you're trying stuff on? Let me tell you. Listen, I know being naked is fun, but sometimes you gotta put clothes on and that starts with underwear. And as someone who has had trouble finding bralettes and underwear that are comfortable and supportive on my bodacious bod, my prayers were answered when I met today's sponsor, Parade. Now this relationship is not a new one. I've been wearing only Parade underwear for years because I haven't been able to find anything that competes with the comfort of their vintage high rise briefs. If you have wider hips and a bigger booty, you will love these. And Parade as a whole is inclusive, sustainable, and affordable. For example, the vintage high-rise briefs are made with new cotton, which is a sustainable fabric blend using 95% less water than traditional cotton. I've also been looking for bras that I can use like as a tank top that will help me beat the heat this summer. So I was really excited to try out this flex longline bra. And Parade offers extended sizing specifically for those of us with larger chests that have support for things like extra coverage or wider straps. So nobody's left out and we can all look cute all summer long. Parade site will give you 30% off certain styles, but only my code, Kathleen50, gets you 50% off the entire site. Whoa. So click the link down in the description for 50% off site-wide. Now that's a spicy discount. Thanks so much to Parade for the support in more ways than one. And let's get back to the thrifting. <laughs> Two piece sets. Two piece sets, two pizzas, two pizzas. Do you see this? Flower button. <gasps> Crunchy. I'm so sorry. You know what? Actually, I'm not. I'm not sorry. Also, my cart is horrifying right now. Oh, I wish you wouldn't do that. You see this coming at you down the aisle. What do you do? Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Madam. Friends. Part pardon. Oh, let me just scooch by. Oh. Sorry about that. You know what? I'm just going to say it. I'm not a conspiracy theorist or anything, but I'm, I'm starting to sniff out conspiracy. I think that no one wants me to show off my cute little funky, fresh, sexy little bod this summer. Where's all the good stuff? Huh? And quite frankly, it's unpatriotic, okay? Let freedom ring and let me wear shirts that show my belly button. It is my right. I feel like thrifting is a more like social shopping experience than your typical retail experience. People just will come up to you and talk to you. This one lady, for example, I turn the corner and immediately she's like, wow, look at your eyes. Look at those big old eyes. I bet you see everything with those. How did she know? So I found some really cute like square toe flip flops and they might be a little small, but let's try them on. I'm gonna give y'all some space because you think I'm gonna show my dogs on the internet for free? As if, dude. Oh, they're kind of perfect. Kind of stinks. Three out of 10. What the heck are you doing here? Let's see what I got at the thrift store. Turns out the thrift gods really do love me because I found this mock neck tiny top from Everlane. Please forgive me for all of the blasphemy. I didn't mean any of it. Secondly, when I was looking for a belt, because my skirt ripped, I found this cool golden like body chain style belt. Potentially the perfect summer accessory? I don't know, let me know down in the comments. And then I also got some very unexpectedly functional items, starting with the softest summer weight coverlet quilt you could ever imagine. Don't worry, I already washed all this stuff, obviously. <sighs> you know you've reached a different plane of existence when you treat yourself to nice laundry detergent. The stuff? Smells so good. And then for some reason, the thrift store that we went to had a bunch of brand new, like organic bamboo pillows and even a duvet insert. This was brand new. 
Huh? It was kind of expensive. I think it was $40 at the thrift store, but... You know what I mean? And then I found a nice old basket. This basket has one purpose, and that purpose is for me to throw all my clothes in that aren't dirty, but I'm not ready to put away yet. And hopefully it will keep my room from looking like a bomb went off in it every single day. And speaking of my room slash my clothes, I'm curious what y'all would like to see next week. I haven't totally decided the video topic and I have a couple ideas. So let me know down in the comments. I'm thinking either we could do like a closet clean out. I haven't done one of those in almost two years. I also have basically a death pile of items that I need to either mend or customize DIY. So we could have like a DIY bonanza video or we could do something totally different. I'm open to your ideas. And if that sounds fun, and if you had fun today at the thrift store with us, then please feel free to subscribe if you'd like. I'd really appreciate it. And we can go thrifting again together. If you're interested in trying out some of Parade's items, feel free to check out the link in my description box and use Kathleen50 to get 50% off your purchase. I'm gonna get out of here, so I hope you have a great week. I love you, even though you're extremely stinky. Goodbye.